Welcome, trainers, to the championship battle. Jeremy, this is for all the marbles. This is for all the marbles. And, you know, let's just get it, get it right out of the way here. Drew's team stays the same. Pingle's team changes. Add it, swapping out. We've seen that the last guy gets swapped out each game. First Bisharp, then Gastrodon. Now, uh... Diggersby. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah how do you yeah, think Diggersby yeah. will affect the battle? Well, he still has to worry about the burns from the Sableye, but I, I think Pingle wants to avoid the, the situation from last game where we kind of got into a big stall fest. And I think he wants just to have that little extra punch, and I think he thinks that the uh, Diggersby, Diggersby is going to provide that punch. And uh, as... I. I at this point, you know, you got to think that, that Drew has come up with some sort of answer to, uh, to Togekiss. And so Pingle just, you know, wants another Pokemon who's just going to be able to take out some threats. Um, but it's going to be tough for that Digger to be. I mean, I don't think it has any sort of super effective anything on Mandibuzz, uh, Sableye, or Amoongus. So... I don't know how I necessarily feel about the... I mean, there's always the, the switch into Tyranitar, Drew avoids the Earthquake, and then Diggersby. Doesn't Diggersby have Wild Charge to maybe hit Mandibus with? Uh, it does have Wild Charge. That is true. I'm trying to think of what else it could have. So Pingle's back to the 3-3 three, three wall sweeper split. Yep. Uh, and Jeremy... Maybe the question, maybe the the story of the championship battle, depending on the series, rather depending on how this game goes. Three games with no Azumarill. Yeah, well, I I think a lot of that boils down to the presence of the Weezing. Mm. I mean, Azumarill, as far as I know, really can't touch Weezing. I mean, Waterfall will hurt, but it's not gonna make a big enough. Know, dent to really, you know, encourage Drew to keep it out there. You still have the the Will O Wisp to worry about, so it makes sense. I mean, you know, whenever whenever you have a mandible or I'm sorry, an Azumarill on your team, you want to use it, but. You know, we'll see, and I don't really know what we're waiting for here. Um, I'll probably just smoke on again. No, they're, they're just having a good old time. They're having some friendly chats. No. Okay. Um, so, Jeremy, I know we didn't really get into a lot of post-match <clears throat> discussion after the second battle, uh, but what did you think of it besides the 100th turn stall show? What? what did you think of game two? It was good. I mean, I, I think that they've both been very good games. Uh, and, you know, I, I don't think this one's going to be any different. And, and Third straight game, Pingle leads with the, the Togekiss. Hey, <clears throat> it worked for him once. Why can't it work for him two more times? Right. Oh, yeah. this is new. Yeah, yeah. I, I think... I don't really know what to think about Substitute that. Substitute Tyranitar. Yeah, it, that's very uncharacteristic of how Pingle's been playing so far. He, you mean Drew? No, no, Pingle, oh. Pingle. Pingle has been very adamant to to go for the the attacking move right off the bat and force Drew to make the switch. Oh. Pingle or Pingle doesn't go for an attack, and Drew makes him pay because we've got rocks out now, which cripples. That Togekiss. Were you expecting a uh, <clears throat> a sub stealth Tyranitar out no, no, but I was also expecting a, an Aura Sphere. Stealth? Oh no, Stealth Rocks Focus Punch or Substitute Focus Punch. There goes the Diggersby. Yeah, that. that could be this is this is between game adjustments at its best right now. Yeah, I mean, you, you give Drew. I don't know how many days. You said two days now to to really deal with this this team of. Of Pingles, and this is what you get. And in comes the Shuckle. Don't really know what it's going to do here. 
I don't know if there's much it can do. I mean, Pingle's best bet at, at this point is to have something or anything to 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 phase out this this Tyranitar. And you see, he gets a sticky web, which will will hopefully do help. something. I mean, I'm not sure at this point, but you know, Shuckle's done his job. And four turn, five turns into the battle, Pingle's already down two. Yeah, it's a completely different game, but I think the silver lining here is that Tyranitar has shown his moves, and I don't think Weezing is afraid of any of those moves. Mm -mm. But on, at the same time, Weezing... I think Pingle might be afraid. I don't know if Weezing is, but it looks like Pingle might be. Yeah, Pingle's, Pingle's shook. You know, Drew has struck first, blood, first two blood very quickly, and... You know what this reminds me of, Jeremy, is Pingle's Togekiss in the first game. Yeah, that's true. Um, but, but yeah, Pingle is kind of admitting defeat right now. And, you know, that might be the case because, yeah, Weezing's not really going to care about this Tyranitar. Mm -mm. But what's Weezing going to do to Ty Tyranitar? It's not going to... I don't, I don't think it can break that side. The only thing that can kill it is Lucario, and Lucario's not going to like that Focus Punch very much. Right, and... Pingle going out for the Togekiss, hoping for the Focus Blast miss, and will it miss, or not Focus Blast, Stun Edge. Stun Edge nope. does not miss. It's a crit. It's a crit. It doesn't matter. Jeremy, I'm going to say it now. Is there any way Pingle can win this? Well, I guess now that Lucario's out without the sub. I, I think it's going to have to take some very shrewd maneuvering here. It's all on Lucario's shoulders. I mean, these guys are in the finals. I don't want to say it's over because it's, I mean, it's not, but it's going to be very difficult for Pingle to win this game. Oh, wow. Switching out of Tyranitar, expecting the close combat that does a ton of damage. Almost a one hit kill. If it still has the bullet punch, it will kill. Uh, even if Caesar Scarf. Yep, there it is. Yeah, even if Scissor Scarf, I mean, he's got the sticky web. Sticky I, web. I think even, I think Lucario, Mega Lucario might have actually have outsped a Choice Scarf Scissor with the, with the sticky web. Um, and out's gonna, out, of course, is going to come the Sableye. Sableye for the, for the burn. And that's just something that... Pingle just has to, has to hope for the Willow Miss here. Yeah, he's going to have to hope for the Willow Miss. He's going to have to hope for... Maybe Pingle not ha or Drew not having it. <laughs> I, I, I mean, would you expect Combine Sableye after two games of not doing it? Well, Sableye has been very effective both games without the Combine set, so it may be unnecessary. But I mean, after seeing this sub stealth Tyranitar, right? I mean, all these guys' moves could be different. He has made very smart adjustments. I, I mean, I don't think the Combine is necessary against Pingle's team. I mean, I've, I've talked about how. Doesn't really have special sweepers. Yeah, especially not at this point with the Togekiss down. Right. I mean, the burn is absolutely coming because even if this is the the um, the calm minding set, by the time he gets calm mind set up, I don't think this Sableye has anything that's super effective against a Lucario or even neutral. Oh, and the Willow was pissed. And the Iron Tail oh, misses. misses. Oh, no. Rough, rough turn there for Pingle. You and Sableye not Mega Evolving. No. He wanted to get that Will-O-Wisp out first. I had to make sure he got that Will-O-Wisp. And, and there's the Calm Mind. Calm Mind's that. Wow. This is... I mean, we don't want to say it's over anytime soon after we saw Weezing stall out two guys for 100 turns last game. Yeah, but can can Weezing sell out five guys, including a calm mind? Ah, <laughs> uh, the crunch critical hit does not enough. No, it's not going to do nearly enough. This is a burn Lucario, essentially useless. And I, I do not think at this point Pingle has a play here. That's going to be ten percent. <laughs> Yeah, I, you hate to see a, a great championship series come down to whatever this is. This this mercy killing. Hey, it's still a great championship series. I mean, this was it was. 
Two out of three ain't bad. Right, a wonderful exhibition of, you know, preparing for your opponent and just one guy making the better preparations. And at it, it, it risk of sounding rude here, Jeremy, um, this might be a good time to reflect on the season as a whole. Uh, what, what do you think we take away from Season 3 of the PBF? I think we take away from Season 3 of the PBF. I... I I I don't know. I I get the feeling, the sense that that season four is something different. I I think it, it's. I mean, it better be. Well, you see, it might sound like me just kind of like blowing smoke out of my rear, but I feel differently about season four. I mean, I'm very excited for it. I I really. I was excited for season two and three, but not really. I, I mean, season three, I didn't even want to actually be in it. I just kind of wanted to admin it or whatever. Uh, but we can address this later. I think we, the, the, the two. At the, yeah, at this point, Drew deserves down. our respect. I, I, I You know, <laughs> easing, stranger things have happened. <laughs> Very much so. Uh, but it is it, it does seem fitting that uh, wheezing is the last to stand for Pingle. You, know, you could get the burn, the crit, or that, and that's it. That well, is then three in the bank. A hundred less turns, but uh, nonetheless exciting. Uh, let me be the, I guess, second now to congratulate Drew on a well-earned third victory, the three-peat for PBS seasons. There's no one, no one else has been on top of the mountain. Uh, but congratulations to Drew Adam and his team for winning PBF season three. Yeah. And, and I mean, he, he earned it. I mean, I, you know, pound for, I don't know, pound for pound is the correct term, but I'm going to use sure, it why not? pound for pound. Um, I'm not going to use pound for pound. <laughs> 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 Just simply put Drew, you know, puts the most effort and the most drive and the most heart into this league. And it shows. And, and I think, you know, that's a good reflection on him. He's he's three and zero in the league, and season four. I mean, he's obviously going to come into season four as the favorite, regardless of the team he drafts, mm-hmm. and he's going to be the man to beat. I don't see how anybody else could be the favorite. Well, no. folks, thanks for watching. Um, for those of you who stuck through, I hope I honestly hope none of you watched the full eighty hours of the last two games, because all of our times are better spent. Uh, but thank you for watching this one. Um, as Jeremy said in the post, we will come back to you tonight with another video <clears throat> uh, showing, I don't know if it, we can call it a mock draft, but it's more of a test <clears throat> excuse yeah, me, just to prove to everybody that this, this auction system should work in theory. Mathematical theory, yeah. A lot of math. Um, so for Jeremy Temple, this is Michael Mealy signing out. Uh, we will see you later tonight, and thank you for watching.